Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. Today I want to talk about social media, loneliness and approval seeking. And my thought is this. Does social media make us feel more alone? And does social media make us more outgoing? My question to both of these questions is yes. Social media is making us more outgoing. Thanks to social media we are more inclined to go out, to leave the house, to meet other people, to interact with other people and to call up other people and to hear what they are doing and what's happening in their lives. We pay more of an interest in having an eventful life. We want to have a more eventful life. We become more outgoing and we become less reserved thanks to the existence of social media. But at the same time, we become more alone and we've struggled more with loneliness even as this is happening. Even though we are going out and meeting people, we are also feeling increasingly alone. And the question is, why? Why does something that is making us more outgoing also make us more alone? Why doesn't being more outgoing make us feel less alone? Shouldn't we feel less alone if we meet with other people? And that brings up the question of what makes us feel lonely? I believe loneliness is the result of feeling disconnected from yourself or from other people. I believe that extroverts feel lonely when they feel disconnected from other people. I believe that introverts feel lonely when they feel disconnected from themselves. And disconnection here means not just being able to talk with somebody, but to be able to relate to what other people say. Extroversion and introversion is not just about what's happening in the outer world or what's happening in the inner world. An introvert is all about what's happening inside and if that matches up with what you see outside. An extrovert is all about what other people think and how that matches up with what you think. You want to meet other people and you want to agree with other people. You want to have connection with other people. You want to add up and relate to and feel a sense of connection and resonation with other people. You want to learn from other people and then you want to add up what they say with what you think and you want to feel that it clicks and matches up and when it clicks and matches up that's when you feel less alone but when you have more disagreements with other people when you meet with other people and what they say doesn't add up with what you say that's when you feel more alone now what I've discovered is people actually don't know the cause of loneliness they assume that they feel lonely because they are not interacting enough with other people. And they assume to become more connected to other people and to <laughs> combat the feeling of loneliness, they must meet more people. And that's what causes this circle, this endless feedback circle, where we are posting more on social media, interacting more with people, encountering more and more disconnection from ourselves or from other people and in so feeling more alone and in so posting more on social media and connecting more with other people. But what is it that makes us feel disconnected from other people? To understand that we must understand the nature of approval seeking. When Facebook launched it did something very very intelligent. It put in a like button. And that like button became the center of everything we did. Everything we did was first responded to with a like or no like at all. And when there is no like at all, that is a sense of disapproval or disconnection. It didn't click with what other people thought. It didn't add up. What you said that you were thinking of and that you cared a lot about, nobody else liked. And that's the cause of this feeling of rejection. Mark Zuckerberg chose not to add a dislike button. And what that meant is the question of being disliked or disapproved of became something deeply implicit. We read in ourselves whether people dislike us or not. We choose to decide for ourselves whether we should feel rejected or not. And we choose to feel rejected when we don't get enough likes on a post. If we post a post and get 50 likes and then on the next second one 15 likes, that creates a feeling of having been disliked. We believe that those 35 people that didn't like us actively disliked us when often they did not see the post or they didn't care enough either way. <laughs> and here we are in this loop where we are searching for likes and we're searching for approval. And we're actually not searching for connection, we're searching more for approval. And that's, 
And this is when you need to realize that Facebook is less about giving us a state of connection to other people and more about giving and gaining approval from other people. And the difference becomes simple. When we do something out of a need to be approved, then we become more prone to conform to other people's expectations or our perceived notion of what people appreciate and like. We post things that other people will agree with or will like, not things that we are feeling or dealing with or struggling with, not things that we are thinking about, not things we are wondering about, but things that we know other people are wondering about, things that we think other people are angry about, things that we think other people like. And that's what causes this feeling of disconnect. In this, extroverts and introverts are both realizing that, well, from the extrovert perspective, I'm talking with people, but I'm not having a real conversation. I'm talking with people, but they aren't saying what's on their mind. They're saying what uh, they think I want to hear. Introverts are also coming at this and they're realizing that I can't say what I'm thinking. I can't say what I'm feeling or what I'm dealing with because nobody will like it or care about it. And in all of this, <laughs> there's the kind of stress or disconnect once again. And uh, that is why when we tune out of Facebook, we will often end up feeling less alone and more connected to other people. <laughs> the strange and perplexing thing happens is we become a little less outgoing and a little more connected to other people. And that's, uh, of, course, uh, of course, a kind of uh, question. Should we tune out of Facebook or social media? Should we use social media or should we not use social media? I've read frequent interviews with social media stars with tens and thousands of followers and likes and most mention that they feel happier when they are more away from their audience. And one of the core reasons for this may be this core value called privacy. A lot of us are programmed to feel happier and more at peace when we take time to ourselves. When we take time to go inside our heads and to meet our own thoughts and to listen to ourselves and to reflect and introspect on who we are and what we do and why we do it. A lot of us seek a sense of freedom, you know, in the sense of being able to say what you want and to do what you want and to go out and to be independent and to follow your own path in life and to question and to challenge and to learn new things, you know. A lot of us need that to feel stimulation and joy and enthusiasm in our lives. ENFPs have a high need to be able to express themselves and if you can't express yourself freely or if you feel judged in social media, you become less free. A lot of INFJs have a big need for privacy and that requires you to turn off your phone once in a while, to log out of social media and to be alone with your own thoughts. And uh, we are not reinforcing those values. In fact, we're learning to prioritize approval over these values. We tell ourselves, I can't take time to myself because other people need me to be present. I can't be away from other people because people get angry or upset if I'm not available. We can't express ourselves and say what we want and to be free and to do what we like in life because then other people will tell us, uh, will disapprove of us and will reject us. You know, all those situations serve one core purpose. They make us become less intuitive. They make us less prone to pursuing our own interests and to doing what we love and what, what we find fun and energizing. And they make us less prone to doing what we dream about doing or think about doing or fantasize about doing. Because, because, and here's the really annoying thing. You have to be yourself to be happy. What if you could be happy just doing what everyone else does? What if you could be happy just adjusting yourself to what other people liked? What if you could be happy just having approval from other people and just from being popular around others? Well, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, what you have to do is think about who you are. If you are an introvert, 
you need to take that crucial time to reconnect with and to make sure you stay connected to yourself and to who you are. That you keep on channeling your thoughts and that you keep on trying to make sure that your environment and the people around you that you surround yourself with add up with and connect to and feel connected to what you are thinking about and going through in your life. And if you're an extrovert, you need to make sure that what you see and what you hear about other people stays and remains connected to who you are and to what you feel. That you surround yourself with people that you feel connected to and good about. That you feel and maintain a connection to yourself and to other people. If you are an intuitive, you need to make sure that you are pursuing your own creative interests and new thoughts and going through and changing up and trying out new directions and uh, new things, even if that will make you a little less approved of by the people around you. (laughs) And you should try to make sure that you get people around you that reinforce and encourage you to be more creative, that encourage you to be more intuitive. And you should make sure that you are that kind of person to other people. Only by doing this can we reduce the loneliness that is spread all across the world. Only by being ourselves and encouraging other people to be ourselves can we feel less alone. Only by ending the circle of approval seeking and making sure that people don't act out of a need for approval but out of a need for genuine connection can we make sure that we actually experience genuine connection. Yeah, this should be simple enough, but perhaps we need to crash. Perhaps we need to meet a point where we are so outgoing, yet so alone, that we realize we don't actually want approval. We want connection. Yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Feel free to disapprove of this message. And feel free to join up on Discord or on our communities to share your thoughts and experiences.